she said that her husband is facing hard times at work. He's not receiving his salary. Are there any dua can he say or prayers he can perform? Yes, of course. أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُطَّرَّ إِذَا دَعَاهُ وَيَكْشِفُ السُّوءُ Who else besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who answers one who is in need, difficulty and in hardship? Who else besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can repel the evil and protect the person from any harm? Is there any God besides Allah? No. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa taught us some beautiful supplications. Just keep in mind that if you put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while saying these invocations, it definitely works. It does. But only if you are a believer. If you put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're not trying to test Allah by saying, well, let me see if it will work. No. You must believe that it definitely does work. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa once entered the masjid and he saw one of his companions by the name Aba Umama. His name is Abu Umama. Uh, and he was overwhelmed with worries and he looked very sad. So the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him, teaching us that we should inquire about others and if they need anything, especially when it appears on them. What is the matter with you, Aba Umama? He said, Ya Rasulullah, humumun lazimatni wa duyunun ghalabatni. I'm overwhelmed with worries, difficulties, and I'm uh, drowned in debt. So the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ya Aba Umama, let me teach you an invocation that you should recite in the morning and in the evening. In the morning after Fajr, and in the evening after Asr, and until sunset. And you keep reciting it, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will settle your debt, and will relieve you from your burden, and remove your hardship. He said, since the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa taught it to me, I kept reciting it, and soon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Give me a relief. The dua is, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-hammi wal-hazan, wal-ajizi wal-kasal, wal-jubni wal-bukhl, wa'udhu bika min ghalabati or dala'i al-dayni wa qahri al-rijal. Wa Allah is seek refuge with you from al-hammi wal-hazan, distress and sorrow, wal-ajizi wal-kasal, helplessness and laziness, wal-jubni wal-bukhl, miserliness, and cowardice. وَغَالَبَتِ الدَّيْنِ To be overcome with debt or overpowered with men. وَقَهْرِ الرِّجَالِ You say this dua regular basis in addition to at least make 100 times istighfar, seek forgiveness by saying أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ وَأَتُوبُ إِلَيْهِ Or أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ الْعَظِيمَ وَأَتُوبُ إِلَيْهِ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ سُبْحَانَكَ إِنِّي كُنْتُمْ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ You say istighfar at least 100 times in the morning and in the evening, and insha'Allah, certainly Allah will uh, give you a relief and will open the doors of provision for you, insha'Allah, and will remove your calamity.